Hello everyone, how are you guys all doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm here with another video, and basically, recently I have been lent a Tebow, so I've just been on a spree of doing a ton of stuff with the amount of money that I have, because it is just so much fun. But, what I'm looking to do today is compare the Tebow at bosses. Now, I originally wanted to do this at Chaos Alley, and I'll show you how that went. Oh my god, alright, so... Uh, basically, the way this video was supposed to start out was I was going to test out a little bit of Chaos Ellie with this Tebow because that was going to be very interesting for me, I thought. Uh, I came up here for about three kills, testing it out a little bit, and, uh, yeah, right away. So, that is 158 KC. Did come in, I mean, a little bit before the KC mark, but that's another pet right there. The idea behind that video was just to see what my loot from a pet would be like at Chaos Ellie, along with how long it takes me with the Tebow compared to other methods, but since I got the pet, there was really no point. And what I wanted to do today is go to Mole and see how much better the Tebow is. Realistically, I know not everyone or not even most of you can afford to get a Tebow. But it is very interesting seeing what the highest level players can afford in the game and what they can accomplish with this in regards to KC at certain bosses. So, for now, let's go ahead and get on into the Mole information. So, for those of you that don't know that much about Mole, basically, here's some helpful information. In regards to Fally Hard Diary, it's basically a necessity to be able to make Mole profitable at least enough to come here. It allows for both noted drops and on top of that a locator through the Fally shield to be able to know where mole is in his cave throughout all times this is really helpful because he teleports around and if you don't have the shield you will spend forever running around trying to find him in addition to that he does dig whenever he's under half hp there is a chance of that happening i believe it's one fourth but i may be wrong on that however just know that whenever he is under half hp there is a percent chance that he will duck down and actually move whenever you hit him so stuff like blow pipes isn't as efficient here because well you'll just have to be running a ton since you hit so much and along with that a helpful stat going forward is that the average loot for moles about 21 point two K. So as far as the killing of mole with both of these setups and really what I like about it, just some extra stuff I guess. With the twisted bow, I'm going to be using amethyst arrows because dragon just aren't worth it in the end. You end up spending way more than you make back with the dragon arrows. So I'm using amethyst arrows. On top of that, I'll be using a cannon both with the range and melee one. So that is up to you whether or not you want to do that. You'll get a little bit of extra damage and it'll cost a little more and you will be running a little more. So just weigh that in as you will. As far as what I like about both methods and really what's good about them, outside of the kills per hour the tebow you can actually just shoot farther so i mean you know you're obviously shooting and doing damage more often on top of that it's a little less click intensive because you don't have to go as far to get to mole in addition to that, you can stay at full HP and just pray and not really have to worry about dying at all. So if you're someone that doesn't pay attention, this actually may help your kills per hour since you may die every now and then if you're doing Darok. As far as the Darok method though, it does have one really nice thing and that's the fact that you can use a Dragon Warhammer. Now you can use one whenever you're doing Armadil. The only problem about using a Dragon Warhammer with the Tebow though is that you don't have really any stat boosting items with you. And I found that I hit really, really low at mole and barely ever hit. So it's just not going to be worth it for me. So after a couple hours of testing, basically this is what I was able to find. The hourly rates for Darok at Mole end up being about 56 kills per hour, so a little over a minute per kill. The cost is about 390k, which is more than using a Twisted Bow here, which kind of makes sense because there's just other added costs with Darok, such as Super Combats, a little bit more prayer, your Darok you're using as well, stuff like that. Overall, going off the average kill loot that we have earlier, this basically means that you'll be able to make 810k per hour. It's not too bad, I mean, it's, it's under a mill, which isn't great, but you also have the pet chance, and oftentimes mole claws and skins are very volatile in prices, so sometimes this can just be way higher than others. Now moving on to the Twisted Bow, obviously this one was just going to smash, and I was very happy with the kills per hour that I was able to get. Overall, 67.5 is where it came in at. Now, this definitely isn't too bad, obviously it is a big increase over the Darok, but even then, I mean, it's still not that crazy if you look at it. The cost per hour with the Twisted Bow is 224k, not too bad, you're not using too many arrows per hour, so it really doesn't cost that. That much and then the overall profit per hour is 1.2 mil which i found really surprising i mean obviously it's highly dependent on mole skin and claw prices so sometimes this can be closer to 1.6 1.7 but as of right now it's 1.2 and that's i mean it's not that great if you think about it now with me personally it really only makes sense to come here if you just you know obviously really enjoy mole or if you were going for the pet so if you are looking for the pet and want to know approximately how long it's going to take you and what you'll be making basically with the twisted bow you can look to make 54.4 mil over the span of 44.4 hours and that's on average obviously everyone's rates vary for pets so you know there's no perfect way to find out what yours is but that'll be the average this goes off 3000 kc as well may i remind you and as far as Darot goes the total gain here will be 43. 
4.2 mil, that extra GP per hour that you're spending really does add up in the end. And this will come at a cost of 53.4 hours. So really there is a pretty big difference here, both in GP gain and in time. So to put this all in perspective, the difference between Darok and a twisted bow at mole ends up being 11.3 mil for a pet purely on cost alone. So that's how much you save yourself just with the input price. And then as far as the amount of time that you save yourself, it is nine hours. Now, if you have a Tebow or if you have access to a Tebow, or even if you can do a decent amount of Zora, you can average two mil per hour. So if we assume that your nine hours that you save, you could put into doing some sort of money making that's two mil per hour. Basically the total difference between using a Tebow at mole and not using one is close to 30 mil. Now in the end, do I think that you guys are all going to go now and buy a Tebow and start doing some mole? Obviously not, but I think it's very useful to sometimes look at how much of a different stuff is in this game, just to be able to decide what's going to be worth it to save up for. I mean, if you're someone that as aspires for a Tebow and you think of the possibilities that you could do with it, and then you realize it's like, yeah, I might see myself 30 mil over the time of a pet just by grinding out for this Tebow, maybe it's not worth it for you. Now obviously there are other places where a Tebow is very helpful as well, and if you guys want to see any comparisons on that let me know down below so that will be it for me today in regards to the comparison if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a like if there's anything you guys want to tell me go ahead and comment down below and as always i mean i always say to subscribe but we are nearing 20,000 subscribers and that is absolutely insane so if you guys want to hit that sub button i would greatly appreciate that on top of that we do have a clan chat in game large exp lamp where me and a bunch of rs buds just hang out and chat shit if you guys want to join it feel free to it's large exp lamp with two e's you can stop by anytime but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Twisted Bow comparison, but with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and everything is going.